the wait for the most desired hero deck of all time. We are finally able to put heroes and Yubel together to make the ultimate hero deck of 2024. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Trinity Wolf, and well today we are going to go over a hero beta deck profile essentially. Um, I have just been dying to put this out here for you guys. I've been wanting to make this deck as perfect as possible and competitive as possible as well and it actually works for those of you who have been wondering. So today we're going to be going over this deck profile and yes uh, if you guys want the combos you're going to have to Destroy that thumbs up button for me, hit the subscribe button, and just let me know down in the comments just how bad you want to learn these combos because you're gonna need it. So I'm gonna have to teach you how to do this combo. And uh, yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get into this just amazing anime themed Jaden deck that just honestly just doesn't even feel real at this point because now that we can actually play you, Bell, with our heroes side by side, and they actually just work so well together. And uh, it just it just makes me really happy. And we're getting close to perfect with this deck. That is why I'm calling it a beta deck, because we still have more you, Bell stuff to come out. So it might make the deck better or not really change it at all. We don't really know until we get it. And uh, of course, we're gonna always just test out the new cards or the, the spiciest things on this channel. Because, you know, I don't like to play Heroes Standard. Like, I, no, it, it's too boring. Like, I don't like the Standard builds. I gotta have something in there. And for those of you who have been watching me for some time, you know the spicy stuff is where we're at here on the channel. But anyway, guys, enough with my rant. Let's just get into this deck profile. All right, you guys, so starting off, we're going to be going with our main deck monsters, of course. Uh, one Ferris, one Vion, one Increase. Um, like you guys have probably understood by now that this is not an ordinary uh, hero deck. We are combining this with you, Bell. So um, we don't really want to see like the Vision Hero package as much, but there's always that slight chance of not having any you, Bell plays at all. So being able to at least still be able to combo off with this um, particular strategy is still good. Uh, Ferris and you know only locks you out of the extra deck. So you are still able to use your vision heroes uh, in this particular combo with U Bell. So at least it doesn't kill the U Bell line. It just kind of you know clogs up the field a little too much considering after you use Ferris you have two bodies extra on the field and you have to just have some other way of getting rid of them. So you don't really want to see them, but they do help just because it doesn't kill the U-Bell strategy considering the lock doesn't happen. Then of course we got just two copies of Stratos and then two copies of Shadow Mist and one Liquid Soldier. And then the Spirit of Neos and regular Neos. That's it for the Elemental Hero line. And then a very small Destiny Hero package, just in case. Uh, DPE is just way too strong to not play in the deck. And of course, being able to Link Climb in case you don't see the U-Bell strategy, being able to just do your regular standard Hero combo line is still pretty good. I'm still thinking about putting Destiny Hero Plasma in here, considering dealing with the Vision Hero uh, problem, just in case I have too many bodies on the field. But of course, you guys, this is just a beta deck profile. We are still testing things out, but this so far has just been the best version of this deck that I've built so far. But this is just to give you guys some kind of idea on what I'm working with. And of course, just for the last for the tech, we've got one Aqua Dolphin and one Cross Keeper. Now moving on to the U Bell package, of course, uh, you want to see Lotus. So definitely play three copies of this. This is probably going to be your main normal summon. Uh, that's why other card strategies in this deck are perfect, like the Vision Hero package and things like Hero Lives, because this is like the main way to get this out is normal summoning this or the one for one, but that's only, you know, a one of inside the deck. But Lotus is such a really great card for this strategy, being able to special summon a U-Bell monster for free and then being able to special summon itself or add itself back to the graveyard 
Uh, either specializing it from the graveyard or adding it back to your hand during the end phase is really good, considering that on the field it can act pretty much like a disruption towards your opponent or just even give you more resources in your hand. So three Lotuses, uh, two copies of Spirit of U-Bell, and then one regular U-Bell. And that's it for our monsters for the deck. On to our spells. Uh, strangely enough, only triple, I mean, uh, double copies of Hero Libs. There's a lot of um, pretty much combo spells in this deck. I guess that might be the right way to say it. Uh, so being able to pay half your life to just special summon a hero out on the field is not really like, it's not really like the main thing that we're doing. Because if you're using Stratos, um, you're mainly either searching for a card dump with end shuffle or even just grabbing Ferris. So it's not the most important thing in the world to see. And just paying half your life points is kind of a rough thing to do, considering that you do have you bell monsters on the field that have zero attack. Granted, you know, you don't take any damage during them, but you never know if you just get hit with an imperm and you don't have nightmare pain on the field and they just take a big monster and smack the U Bell and then you just die. So you don't really want to pay half your life, but Hero Lives is still just a great combo starter. Uh, one reinforcement of the army, one end shuffle, and of course the one for one uh, to pretty much cheat out Lotus for essentially free. And then being able to just tag her out for you bell and then you can still do a normal summon hero play just in case so i love seeing one for one in the hand and then of course triple copies of engage neo space this card is just very powerful the only thing that it sucks about is just locking us out of the extra deck from just only being able to use fusions but you being able to put a space sheet in the grave a hero to search with like shadow mist and special summoning spirit of neos that's also grabbing you a polymerization very very powerful card i love engaged neo space and of course you guys if you want to see a combo line for this video of course be sure to destroy the thumbs up button for me and also just subscribe today if you're new if you really want to see uh the combo line for this which i know you guys are dying to see so be sure to hit that like button for me just so i know that you guys are dedicated to wanting to see how powerful this deck has it just has so much potential and I'm trying very hard and perfecting this deck, but I had to give you guys just a little taste on what I'm working with, and it's close to perfection, and honestly, it really is. But you never know with the new u Bell stuff that might be coming out, it might even be better. So anyway, moving on, uh, two Palmerization, one Miracle Fusion. With engaged Neospace in the deck, you wanna make sure you always have a Palmerization to search for, because if you don't have a Palmerization, if, if you are only playing one and it so happened to be in your hand, you can't use Engage Neo Space at all. So then it becomes just a dead card in your hand that could that could have started a huge combo. But due to the fact that you had this in your hand, you can no longer play. So also you just want to be able to say C2 Palmerizations because if you do get locked into only fusions, you want to be able to see as many fusion spells as possible. And then of course, uh, the main thing, triple copies of Super Palmerization. We're playing you bell this is literally just the god card um your opponent just seeing a you bell and this it, it's just essentially game like they they're about to make a big board and you just go nope i'm gonna take everything away from you and then they burn for all the things and of course triple copies of nightmare pain you definitely want to see nightmare pain in your hand being able to pop a dark monster on the hand or field definitely helps also if you use the vision hero line and you just had the vision heroes just stuck on your field after you've used them, you can just go ahead and activate Nightmare Pain, destroy one of them on the field, add your U-Bell card that you might need at that time, like Lotus, normal summon Lotus, tag her out for Spirit of U-Bell, and add the Eternal Favorite. It's just a very powerful card. Also, your opponent taking the damage, taking more damage also because of Nightmare Pain. And of course, one Mature Chronicle. Uh, this card is just really good on getting your banished stuff back, special summoning U Bell, or even adding uh, Super Palmerization. And of course, for all the spicy one uh, this I guess it's not really spicy, but of course, one Call by the Grave, uh, one Fusion Destiny, and the one that you guys are probably all going to talk about is this Overfusion. Due to the fact that U Bell uh, is just a level 10 monster, this Overfusion honestly becomes a very, very powerful card now, considering that. It, it's just it's just so good and the fact that you can actually search this card with spirit of neos 
is absolutely phenomenal because it does mention uh, Elements of Hero Neo Sonnet. So you are definitely able to search this card. You basically just flip it over, uh, target a card on the field, basically just transform it into you bell and then if they don't have any response you just activate the super polymerization being able to just take away the entire board overfusion being a very very underestimated card i thought it was a very terrible card when it first came out which it was but now we have an absolutely huge reason to play overfusion and of course the reason for one fusion destiny it's pretty obvious to you guys that this is not our main combo line uh, it's pretty much just there just in case you need it. So you don't wanna see triple copies of it because, you know, it, it's not the main thing we're trying to do here, but you never know. Uh, it might just come up where it's in your hand and you have nothing else. So Fusion Destiny at one, at, at least at one. Then for our traps, of course, we have our two favorite cards. We got our favorite contact and our eternal favorite, uh, you know, with Infernal Rage being able to recycle these or search them uh, is absolutely great because due to Eternal Favorite sending itself and a card out of your hand, you know, it's kind of like two costs there. You're getting rid of your Continuous Trap and a card out of your hand, but due to the fact that Infernal Rage can pretty much just grab this back for you out of the graveyard, I really don't see a reason to play two copies of it, but I might bump it up to two just in case, but just because a Flame Wingman exists, I just feel like one copy of each is just perfectly fine. And then of course, just for a little bit of disruption, two copies of Infinite Impermanence. Moving on to our extra deck for our Lynx, one Cross, one Wonder, one Infernal Divisor. Uh, Lynx are not the main thing, just because we can get locked into fusions. And also due to the fact that these two themselves lock you only into special summoning heroes. These two are essentially just here, just in case you cannot play U Bell stuff. That is literally what they're here for, or follow up for the next turn. Um, but yeah, they're literally just there just in case. You don't want to kill your hero line completely because you don't want to have hands to where you just really couldn't do anything but hero stuff. But because you didn't have these two cards, you couldn't do your combo to the fullest just because you didn't have the extra assistance there. And of course, Wonder Driver can be kind of just summoned no matter what, even if you were just doing U Bell cards. But the minute you do engage Neo Space, you can't summon it. But just being able to recycle your fusion spells or even super polymerization, being able to redo that with Wonder Driver is absolutely insane. And of course, for our Elemental Hero Fusions, we've got our Sunrise, our Rage, our Neos Kluger, Neos Wingman, Aqua Neos, and then of course, double copies of Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. Um, of course, you guys are probably like, why do you have Neos Kluger in the deck if you're not playing one Neos Fusion? Like I said, it's just a beta. We're just testing things out. Neos Kluger is literally there. Doesn't It's literally just a backup because there's not very many cards you actually summon out of your extra deck. I almost consider playing Pot of Prosperity, but just being able to draw cards with Cross Keeper and Liquid Soldier is just too powerful. And I just do not feel like giving that up for only one card. But Neos Kluger is literally there because you can also make it with Miracle Fusion. You can also make it with Favorite Contact. And if you just somehow happen to have Neos and U Bell in the field, you could honestly use Eternal Favorite to even make it as well. Or just even regular Polymerization. If they're just both in your hand, fuse them and make Neos Kluger. He acts like U Bell. They take the damage. Even though you're not going to be able to tag out for Wiseman because I don't want to run that brick in the deck. It's just the fact that he's a 3000 beat stick that acts like U Bell and can just do a huge amount of damage. And of course, you know, the two wake-ups. I love playing two wake-ups. One, you can have for a combo. And then the second one, if you use favorite contact, you can use it to recover all of your resources back. Love playing two copies of this. And then of course, the last for our hero fusions, of course, one Destiny Hero, Phoenix Enforcer. And then our U-Bell line, of course, we got two U-Bell, the Loving Defender Forever, and uh, one King of the Swamp, and one Prada Plant, Dragostopelia. For our fusion, for our super polys. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it for this beta deck profile. All right, you guys, that's pretty much gonna be it. I'm still trying to perfect this deck as much as possible, testing combos, testing builds, and uh, you should try this out for yourself. Just messing with the deck, see if you like it. But you know, let me know down in the comments what you think about this deck, and uh, maybe some suggestions on what we can do to improve it. But this is gonna be your boy Trinity Wolf signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.